Malchus Galopila. Today is a great day. I just want to encourage all the riders here and welcome you here. Nobody told you to come. We didn't ask you to come. You came here yourself. You're going to have fun. And I just wanted to give you riders advice. Like I said, try hard. You're Lakota. And Lakotas were never quitters or weak. Remember to protect the sacred Mother Earth. Remember to protect the sacred water. We must all stand up and fight for Mother Earth. Right now she's dying. She's being polluted by uranium, by coal, by every kind of mine they have. They're fracking for gas. They're poisoning our water for the future generations. So we must be aware of this. We must stand up. No matter where we're from, what nation we're from, we need to stand together and protect Mother Earth. Today, the way I see it was the tribal chairman hired three lawyers to make sure I can grow hemp legally. Well, we don't need no more new lawyers. Uh, Tom Blanco and Dave Franco, Bruce Ellison, has been with me from the beginning, 19 years ago. And we know what the situation is, and we know what needs to be done. Uh, these three new lawyers that just dumped on the bandwagon with the tribe, they don't know what's going on. So chances are they might confuse the issue and uh, it's too late to plant this year, but we're going to do it. why we planted hemp was that we wanted to make our own clothing, our own jeans, our own caps, our own shoes and do it at a real uh, economical rate where we could all afford it and then we would export it out from our land here into South Dakota and who knows where and uh, this is the way I was planning on making money. Today we're not the only I'm not the only grower on the reservation here. The six other big families that are growing hemp but they don't want to go through the FBI and DEA like I did. But today it really makes me sad. I went to several hemp gatherings across the United States. And I don't know why, why it is, but the people in the hemp business, they're starting to fight each other. It's a cutthroat business and everybody has a strain of this much hemp and you have to go to them to buy it. And that makes me feel sad because to me, hemp is a real gentle plant. It's a beautiful plant. And there should be no fighting over it. And I'm hoping that within 10 years there'll be no more plastic in the United States and that it all become from cellulose, from hemp. So yeah. those are some of our goals. But um, like I said, we want to grow hemp here. We want to make the industry here, eco-industry, and then ship out from here. Hey, hey, hey. 